everything on Earth exists in an ecosystem where it interacts with other kinds of creatures for mutual benefit. Trees and plants and fungi, humans and domesticated animals, bacteria working together. Before we made petroleum cheap and easily available, we made all of our chemicals from wood and from other biomass. We threw things out of whack. We can go back. We just need the help of bacteria. If we partner with them, we can harness their innate chemistries that they have been evolving for millions of years. Microbiome domesticates bacteria to make chemicals that we would otherwise only get from petroleum. I grew up in Baltimore. I had two younger sisters. It was a good childhood. We lived in a small house, but we were happy. We always had a lot of pets. We learned how to take care of different kinds of animals. And you can't take care of a turtle the way you take care of a dog. They need different food, shelter. It was rewarding to build an ecosystem where they thrived. I am a biologist. I see everything as an ecosystem with contributing organisms. The biggest success in human history has been agriculture, the domestication of the plants and animals we live with. Everything works better when we cooperate. Microbiome is trying to provide economic ways to use biomass as a feedstock for industrial chemical generation. There is biomass that otherwise we have no motivation to collect. It sits on the fields and rots our wastewater. It sits in big tanks and turns into methane. All of that is carbon that could be converted into something else if only we were able to use the right bacteria. Microbiome knows more about bacteria than anyone else because we've dedicated ourselves to it as a domestication project, not as a sequencing project. We are building a farm and each animal, each bacteria that's going to contribute on the farm has a unique niche. We use robots in this laboratory to ask the bacteria, will you eat this when I raise the temperature by two degrees? Will you eat that when I drop the pH by two units? And we take the data the robots give back to us. So at the end of the day, we can say, here is how to grow this bacteria to make the most of this chemical. Liquid handlers are robots that dispense precise amounts of liquid. Then you have fermenters or microbioreactors. These are robots that just maintain temperature, they maintain a motion, and make sure the bacteria have a growing environment that they like. We have other robots that measure the chemicals that the bacteria leave behind. Part of Microbiome's strength is in stitching all of these various robots together into one big pipeline where the data comes back and we can then learn from that data. Some of the chemicals we can make from bacteria include platform chemicals that you would normally get from petroleum. As an example, acrylic acid. These very simple little molecules when combined form your modern world. It's plastics and materials in your paints and in your cell phones diapers. Nobody wants to give up diapers. If we can cut petroleum out of acrylic acid production, we can use biomass to address a $12 billion chemical market. In 20 years, I hope we're using utensils and tools that are made with polymers where the sources of those polymers were fermented in bacteria. I hope 3D printers are running using materials that were fermented in bacteria, and what they print is biodegradable. You put it right back into the compost, except your compost doesn't just turn into methane. It becomes feedstock for some other use in your daily life because we're friends with the right bacteria. My name is Sarah Richardson. I'm the CEO of Microbiome.